I'm Anthony Hudson. Today, back at Marvel Stadium. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. What a game we've got today, Hutto. There really has been a big build-up for this clash. Well, today, it's the Blues versus Geelong. set to run through them. It's a battle in the Geelong forward line. Their forwards bring the pressure inside 50. It's going to give them a massive chance of walking out on top. Carlton running onto the field, looking for a big performance today. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. The Blues kicking to the right of screen. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. The crowd are ready and we're underway. Cruiser slaps it away. Loses control of the ball. Picks up the loose ball. Dangerfield unable to apply the tackle. Parfit releases it under pressure. Scoops up the ball. Spent that one before he earned it. Duncan, a bit too casual with the tackle. Kerno uses it by foot. McGovern takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Fisher marks with a bit of space. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Doing well to intercept that kick. Stewart moves it now. Mark by Delwood. Moves it by foot. A great mark taken there. Kick by Hawkins. March back, looking to track down the footy. Just put it on the boot. Rowan marks it, hacking it out of there. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Uses it now. Fails to fend off the tackler. Outstanding pressure. Parfit just threw it. Wolf shows with the kick. Plowman used the body to take that mark. A spearing kick. A race for the loose ball. Steven rushes with the kick. Tough going early without a score. It's a turnover. Going for goal number one. He's able to ride it home from a long way. Pretty happy with that one. The first goal of the day for Geelong. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Back with another centre bounce. Cruiser got in the better position. He has the ball. Licks with hands. Nunes contests the hard ball. Henderson won himself a free. Moves the ball by foot. They chase after the loose ball. Nunes throws the ball away. Stewart drives the kick. The ball ends up going to ground. A chance to reload the attack now. Puts it on the boot. Stands tall and marks. Moves it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. A piercing kick from Plowman. 
Well taken at ground level. Henderson kicks hurriedly. Decides to keep it alive. Found a way to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Jones now heading to the bench for a break. Umpire calls for a throw in. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. The ball in the hands of Jenkins. Go for goal number one. Drop part straight through the middle. Congratulated by his teammates. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. 12 points the difference. Cruiser clears the contest. Ablett with the ball. Chips it towards half forward. Gets into a good position to take that. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. Yes, Hunter. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Geelong have three in a row. The lead is now 18. Didn't get away from that tackle. Great attack on the ball carrier. That one hits the woodwork. Geelong with the edge right now over Carlton. Cruiser runs after this one. Turned it over. Squeezes out a handball. Dangerfield going for number one. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? He acknowledges the crowd. Center bounce. Taps it down. He gets his hands on the footy. With the ball is Kuno. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Duncan moves it by hand. He gains possession. So what could Geelong do with this opportunity in front of goal? A chance to gather the ball. Cruiser uses the bump, sweeping handball. Missed the target, releases the handball. O'Brien down. O'Brien sends one up towards the wing. Takes a simple grab. Stabs at the kick, finds a target. Looks up with a kick. A race for the loose ball. Taken well at ground level by Henry. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Getting pushed out of the way was O'Brien. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Ends up marking uncontested. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Duncan puts it on the boot. He takes the mark. Uses it by foot. It's marked by Henderson. Puts boot to ball. Takes the mark. The kick from Stewart. Guthrie marks uncontested. Guthrie has resources out wide. Simply outplays his opponent with a driving kick. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Menegola and fires it up to the square. He celebrates hard after that. That's five in a row for Geelong. Now they lead by 31. Jenkins won the tap. Nunes couldn't complete the danger field. Collects to kick. The end of the final term sees the scores stand at Geelong. 31 to Carlton. Nothing. Geelong could come out and start it well and show them they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Time to take a look at the stats. Geelong are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them... We're ready for second quarter action. The game is back underway. Punched away. The bounce made it tough. Cripps can't hold on to the tackle. Does well to cut off the kick. Jockety moves it now. Takes that one strongly. Elects to kick. Dalhat gets on the end of this. Uses it now. 
Dangerfield dominating this game. You're right, Hutto. He's an absolute ball magnet. Martin didn't mark it. Walsh drives it out of the pack. Ball gets cut off. Blitzarves sends it clear of the contest. Geelong for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Works it across the ground. He might kick a goal. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Good mark there. Got boot to ball. He gets above the crowd. March back kicks it. Tui hangs onto that one. Tui kicks it to the square. Charges with intent. A quick handball from Ablett. Jones couldn't snaffle it. Parfit has a chance to put a second goal on the board. He loved that one. That is six in a row for Geelong. The margin is 37. Jenkins just slaps it down. Menegolik running off for a break. It'll be a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Ablett charges with intent. This is Selwood. Manages to get a hand to it. Turned it over. Simpson picks up the loose ball. Marks now and can send it back. Jones clears the danger for now. Marchback moves the ball out of defence. Chose to kick it. Simpson slick with the hands. Hurried kick. Cockatoo, the better man there. Decides to kick. Kerner gets on the end of this. Puts it on the boot. A chance to gather the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Won the hit out. Jenkins keeps coming. Duncan slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Off hands from Walsh. My ball, says the umpire. Guides it down. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Is in his possession. Casbolt takes the mark. Big kick required from this distance. They are desperate for a goal now. That's a big goal. What an effort. Gets his first. Puts it through. Can that goal be the start of something more? Puts it through. Centre bounce. Winning it was Stanley. Soccer's the kick. Fisher releases the handball under pressure. Murphy takes it well. A low stabbing kick. Lost concentration for a moment. He flicks it over. Martin steers it towards goals. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's two in a row for Carlton. The Blues now only trail by 25. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. He did really well there and gets the reward. We're back in the middle now. Stanley thumps it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Okay. He goes for broke. He gives chase to the footy. Managed to get a hand to that one. Weighing up the options now. Plays onto himself. Blitzarves uses it by foot. Marks all alone. Got the hands free. Steven on the ball. Ineffective handball. Wiedering gives the don't argue. He lays off the pass. Fogarty cuts it off. And we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. The ball spills to Plowman. Plowman just threw it. Kicks the ball deep. 
great mark in the pack. Chips it towards half forward. Dangerfield gains possession. And now it's a ball up. Thump clear. Here's Betts. McGovern picks it up. Decides to soccer it. Shows some physicality. Geelong get themselves the free. Now with a low spearing kick. Great mark. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. Picks it up. Cruiser just goes bang. Hit the man hard. Goes with the kick. Nunes gets the loose ball. That's something to smile about. Pretty happy with that one. The Blues reduce the margin. We're back in motion. Swatson, wasting a lot of effort there. Just releases the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Found time to get it on the boot. Fighting hard was Delwood. Getting in the way was Fisher. Rushes with the kick. He has to hold on to those. Movement by hand. Intercepted by Ablett. Ablett just threw it. Moves the ball by foot. Nice hand. Carlton trailing by 18 at halftime. Geelong have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? Carlton need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. Thanks for that, Gary. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. Back in the middle now. Punches are clear. Taken by Kerno. Fantastic pressure there. Just put it on the boot. Moved on by Jenkins. The loose ball picked up. Gets it away. He can take off after that handball. With the ball now. Selwood wins it back. Made the goal of hard move. And it's a behind. Geelong, 38. Play Carlton, 19. Jones plays it to himself. Looks to move it by foot. Dahlhaus missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. That one will really lift them. He's enjoying every second of it out there. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the ball. He's enjoying that goal. Big thump from Cruiser. Dangerfield. Unable to hold on. Pretty lucky to get that free. Keeps the kick low. Picked up by Cripps. Murphy sockers it forward. Sockers it forward. Ball collected. Duncan steals possession. He's got the football now. Cripps throws the ball away. Looking to rebound with this kick. They chase after the loose ball. They can create from this. Stanley can link up through hands. Picked off the deck. The Cats have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Does well to cut off the kick. Channels a long kick. Kerno will be upset with that. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Slams it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. Finding the ball was Taylor. Wins the race to the ball. Heads long with that kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Dangerfield moves it now. The ball ends up with Ablett. Chips it towards half forward. A solid mark from Marchbank. Goes by foot. Selwood hacking it out of there. Tackle locks the ball loose. Has a runner alongside him. He drives it. And the mark will be paid. Hawkins elects to kick. Takes a nice mark. Plays on quickly. Cockatoo keeps that one low. Drives the kick hard. Out of bounds in the pocket. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Jenkins on top of the ranking points. He is dominating this game. It's a turnover. Just stepped around his opponent with it. The lead is now 26. Geelong have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. 
Moves it by foot. Wiedering. Determined to reach the ball. Landed in his back on this occasion. Chips it towards half forward. Nobody can hold on here. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Duncan kicks hurriedly. He just can't get out of the action. Ball up on the outer side wing. Stanley hurls it away. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Takes a strong mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Geelong, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Just through the ball. Selwood receives the ball. Gets some distance on the kick. Just gets a boot to it. Kennedy just fends off his opponent. Got hands to it. He lays off the pass. Duncan having a big game. Yes, I know. He's a class. Just offline for a minor score. The margin is 27. Searching for a teammate. Easily takes the mark. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Doing well to intercept that kick. Handball's out in front. Takes possession. He just throws that ball. Uses it by foot. Well picked up. Cleanly picked up. The loose ball scooped up. Slams it home. Stephen can put through his first. And that puts them further in front. They get around him after that effort. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Walsh onto the ball. He looks like he needs a spell. Hawkins just put it on the boot. Jones dropped what he should have taken. Makes it somebody else's problem. Ball ends up with Rowan. And what just gets a boot to it. The umpire calls for it. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Jones winning plenty of the ball. He's been superb today, Hutto. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Ball picked up. Hands that ball to the opposition. Giving it off was Doherty. March back breaks the tackle. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Geelong forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Keeps good mark and looks to send it back. Carlton trail by 33. They certainly have a lot to think about before the final term. Geelong will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Carlton can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Thank you, Gaz. Last quarter action, ready to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Tap down. Ball up call. Cruiser aims for his man on the ground. Picks up the loose ball. Taylor just gets it onto the boot. Jones controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Looks up with a kick. The mark has been taken. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Ablett earns a free kick. Well collected. Dangerfield hacking it out of there. 
doing well with the mark. The Cats haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Fishak spills it. Spent it before he earned it. Hacking it out of there. Let's uh, stand a mop up. Selwood looking a bit sluggish out there. Fishak needs to execute this shot at goal. He sums up the situation and delivers. Of course, Hunter. He's excited about that one. Carlton behind by 27. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back in the middle to resume play. Clears the contest. He's got the footy in his hands. Puts it into space. Receives the handball and takes off. McKay has a great set of hands. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Dalhouse gets in a good position. Ablett gives it off and now they go. Rowan shrugs off the tackle. Menegola takes it well. Opportunity once again for Geelong to put one through. 40 metres from home. A 45-degree angle for this shot at goal. If they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on to it. Geelong by 28. Jones with the kick in duties. Marks in a bit of space. Plowman works it from the back half. He gives chase to the footy. Handball's under pressure. Fisher gets on the end of that handball. Kerno with the mark. Six the slipper into it. Martin wins the marking contest. Elects to kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Slick with the hands. He takes the mark. Cockatoo uses it by foot. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Geelong fans would love to see this one sail through. Cockatoo quacks well on the boot for goal. Marks now and can send it back. Walsh kicks it. The ball finds Arch back. Slams it on the boot. Takes a simple grab. The mark is taken by Martin. Puts it on the boot. Finds himself in space and marks. Kennedy with a low spearing kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. It's a long kick. Missed the target. Bent with a penetrating handball. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Casbolt delivers with a straight drop pass. That's two now, finding his feet in front of goals. His teammates rush over. Back with another set of bounce. Jenkins gets onto the ball. Here's Kerno. The ball mopped up. We'll have another ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Ablett with the ball. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He just keeps finding the footy. Gets the handball away. He gets his hands on the footy. Rowan marks. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Keep it on. Going for goal number one. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. This kick stretches the lead. Rowan loves that goal. The game is back underway. Punched away. Dangerfield rushes with the kick. Parfit doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Swats it. Plowman with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. 
Jenkins clears the contest. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. McGovern, hurried kick. Bent going for number one. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. Smiles all round. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Geelong have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. Rowan shot by hand. A great mark taken there. Here's a chance for Parfit. 35 metres out. No angle to worry about. Goes for the goals. What a goal. Three goals for him now. What an effort. This kick puts them further into the lead. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. It's great to watch Hutto, plenty of excitement. Geelong leading the contested ball numbers. It's always the starting point for a coach to find how well they attack the contest. Hawkins missed an opportunity to mark. Selwood dug out the loose ball. Disappointment for fans of four. Carlton. Gary, any final thoughts? Geelong did what needed to be done. They played hard, took their chances, and in the end, walked out with the victory. We're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. Final scores are 65 to 37. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.